and Jennifer Correa right now, 5 a.m. advisory just dropped. Jen, I know you're kind of still combing through it, but is there anything significant that jumps out? Well, one thing that's significant is when you look at the satellite loop, you can tell that uh, Milton is continuing to strengthen, and that is the expectation in the forecast. In fact, it has strengthened now as a 5 a.m. with max sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. So it is a Category 2, and for it to become a Category 3, those max sustained winds need to increase to 111, and that's what's expected later on this morning as it continues to track towards the east. It's been kind of nudging, kind of wobbling now, moving more towards a little towards the southeast. It's going to eventually skirt along that northern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, Milton is still expected to become a major hurricane. It could become a Cat 4, but then downgrade to a Cat 3. Either way, these are very intense uh, systems. And around Wednesday, later in the evening, could make that landfall along the west coast. Everyone from the nature's coast down through southwest coast need to be watchful eye. But right now, the center still kind of focusing on that Tampa Bay, Sarasota area. Of course, Fort Myers being to the southeast of that cone. That means that Fort Myers, Port Charlotte, uh, Cape Coral is going to be under that northeast quadrant where we have the worst impacts when it comes to storm surge, which we don't want to see that for Fort Myers. We don't want to see it for anybody. But unfortunately, so far, this is how it's going to play out. So Wednesday is going to be the day when weather is going to start worsening, even for us. But there is Milton now over us. We're dealing with a disturbance, and that disturbance bringing us more rain today. I just want to quickly show you the spaghetti plot models. The models have been pretty consistent on that turn towards the northeast, towards the west coast of Florida from the southwest portions of the Gulf of Mexico. However, pinpointing that landfall at this point now is still going to be a little uncertain, right? Look at how widespread it is towards that landfall. I'll have more details on our forecast coming up because, of course, we're going to be dealing with flooding downpours. All right.